Yo, what's good, ladies and gentlemen? Your boy Iron Angel here. Um, we're about to do. I'm about to do a reaction to the new Battlefield game, which is something that I've been looking forward to. But first, I will say um, my apologies for being late with these reactions. This whole weekend, I've been sick. I've been sick. You can't see it because the camera's covering it. But I got my lay. <laughs> I've been laying down on the floor right there for the whole weekend. I've been I've been missing out on all these trailers. So all these new games that are coming out. I don't know everything. So after I react to this Battlefield, which is something I've been waiting for, I'm going to look on the list to see what other trailers came out and then do reactions on them as well. But if the reactions come slowly, then, then uh, I want to because I would like today to get three reactions done. If three reactions don't happen today, though, you know why. I said it last video, last reaction video, that I've just been under the weather the whole weekend. Uh, so, I'm slowly recovering, but I've been wanting to see this Battlefield. Um, honestly, like, well, first off, I've been a huge Battlefield fan since Battlefield 3. Shout out to my brother, my friend Steven, Daniel, Kyle. We used to play that a lot and own that game. Like, we dominated. And one of the reasons I stopped playing was because it's a personal thing of mine. I'm not the biggest... Uh, World War One or World War Two type player when it comes to gun uh, first person shooters, like I will play it, but even like Call of Duty World War Two, those weapons and the scenery and stuff is not my style. Everybody has their taste, you know. It's just not my. I like the modern or not too futuristic. Like what's the game? Infinite Warfare, but you know it could be a little futuristic like this one. I think was it two? Was it? Hold on, twenty forty two. Yeah, twenty forty two. And I'm, I'm cool with that. That's my style. Unless I'm, you know, Halo, I'll make an exception because that's a childhood game and it's in the future. But I'm talking about like regular AK-47s, ACRs, snipers, stuff like that. I like it to be in modern time or just a little future, futuristic. But that World War II or that crazy going into the future science fictional weapons is not my style when it comes to uh, first person shooters. So when I saw that this is coming back to its modern time, basically, um, I got excited. I got excited. I did see the first trailer, um, like the reveal trailer, but that had no gameplay. This is a gameplay trailer. So I'm looking forward to this, about to react to it. And yeah, just wanted to give that disclaimer out though about me being congested. But I am going to react to other games. It's just if I move slowly with it, you, at least you know why. All right, let's get into this. I've been all congested, y'all. I got my tissue right here. My goodness. Honestly, I hope the AK-47 is in this game uh, and the ACR. But y'all know, if y'all follow my gaming channel, you know I'm the biggest fan of AK-47s and first-person shooters. But anyway, here we go. This is what I want. I wanted the gameplay. Yeah, see, I love this timeline. The scenery, everything. The guns, the scenery. The Russian troops are falling back. Do whatever you can to secure the sector. We push them back, but not far enough. Do not let them regroup. The scenery of this. I've always loved battlefields for their... Open, wait, hold up. Let me pay attention first. I'll talk in a minute. Wow, look at that. That's sick. <laughs> that was like a Michael Bay movie right there. I love that downtown. It actually reminds me of a certain map in Battlefield 3. Or was it Battlefield 4? It was one of them. Yeah, don't that map look familiar from Battlefield 3 or 4? Wow, look at that. Dang, bro. Oh, that's sweet. You can change it in game. That's cool. I like that. I like that. C4 on it. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to this game. The reveal trailer already had me excited, but it is show gameplay. This is real gameplay. This looks good. Bro, man. 
It's like a Michael Bay movie in a game. Look at that, my goodness. Be good. Oh, my goodness. Twenty forty two. I like that a lot. Oh, I got excited, bro. I thought it was coming out July twenty second. I was about to say, is it that soon? I got really excited for a second. I want to see the trailer one more time, so I'm gonna watch it in this, uh, again in a second. But this is the battlefield I like, um, and I don't. I'm not dissing the World War One or two, or was it both of them that came from Battlefield previously? It just wasn't my thing. Now, I heard it had some backlash. I don't know. I don't really get into news and all that stuff when it comes to gaming or movies. It's not my kind of thing. I just, I decide if I like it by me playing it. But I knew the World War One and two wasn't my style. That's why I never really gave it a shot. Even though it is free on Xbox Pass, I might have to try the, the previous one out. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know in the comments if you actually like those. Maybe I'll give it a shot. But this here, this modern time battlefield is my style. When it came to Call of Duty, I love the modern style. A little futuristic, you know, it's, two, it's 2042. But overall, this is my kind of gameplay. And this reminds me of Battlefield 3 and 4. I have loved those. I love those games. Still do. I don't even know if those servers are up. But that looks really good. What caught my attention the most is the scenery. The sandstorm. You jump from one building to another. I forgot what you call it when you're gliding in the air and those wings come out. That right there. Yeah, they didn't show character, you know, weapons a lot. But we'll get into that. I mean, I'm pretty sure the weapons look good. It's more for the scenery, the gameplay, and all that stuff, which I'm impressed. I, oh, the one thing I did catch my attention was um, in the elevator. As you're in the middle of a game, you can change. You can edit your guns. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. You don't have to die, and then you can change it as you're, before you respawn. You can do it in-game. So, that's interesting. Now, I know, and some, you know, people might ask me, is this the end of Call of Duty? No, and I don't really get into those conversations much. I'm just going to say it this way. If you don't like Call of Duty, don't play it. If you don't like Battlefield, don't play it. They all have their fan base. I like both, so... I don't think it's the end of anything, you know. I think it's just Battlefield going back to their, I don't know if you'll say roots, because I haven't played Battlefield. Um, I wasn't the one who, I haven't played Battlefield since Battlefield 3 or 4, so I don't know if this is their root of how they use their, usually play their games in modern time, 2042 and all that. But basically, all I'm trying to say is, if you like Call of Duty, cool. If you like Battlefield, cool. If you like me and like both, cool. You know, just love the experience. That's how I feel. I'm going to be playing both. <laughs> I love Call of Duty and I love Battlefield. So you're going to see me on this channel play both. But I got really excited for a second because it said July 22nd. But no, it's just showing more. Which I hope they do show more weapons. Uh, they showed a little bit, but it was more for the scenery, which I had no problem with. So hopefully we have more weapon uh, customizations and all that other stuff. Anyway, uh, oh, I also got to react to the Halo trailer. There's a new Halo trailer as well. All right, so I got a lot to react to. Like I said, I've been sick. But, and I'm still not feeling good. I mean, I got my tissue right here. And I'll, I'll just edit out whenever I'm <laughs> blowing my nose. But anyway, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to try to get as many reactions out as quickly as I can. But if I don't, you know why. But let me know how you feel about this battlefield. I'm looking forward to July 22nd. I mean, that's next month. And, and like a week and next, a, a month and a week. But I would love to see more of this game. But the first two trailers are very nice. Very, very nice. But... I mean, we'll see. I want to get my hands on it and actually try it for myself. But anyway, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'll catch y'all next time. See you on the next reaction.